Welcome to another Helix Video Solutions video. Today I'm going to show you how to add a complete custom selection field in Smart IT and add it as a custom column in the Ticket Console. Okay, so the first thing you have to do, you have to log in to Dev Studio. In this, for this example, we're gonna use Help Desk. So double click on Help Desk. Okay, so as you can see, there's already an, uh, an overlay on this view. So if you don't have an overlay on this view, you can click Form, Create View Overlay, and then you're gonna end up with the overlay here. The first thing you have to do, you're gonna create the selection field. So you're gonna right click on the, on the space around your form. You're gonna cre uh, create a new field in current view, and we're gonna use drop down list for our test selection field. So we're gonna click on the property side on the three dots, and we're gonna add another uh, default value so that we have a two here. So we're gonna accept this and in the database, we're going to change the name to type custom, but this can be exactly whatever you need it to be. So also we're going to change that in the uh, in the display um, area. So we're going to save this here. Let's wait until Dev Studio saves the changes. Okay, you can see that the changes have been made. You click OK. Let's click on the permissions. Let's make sure this this field is being able to be used. I'm just going to use public and add this and resave the changes. Very well. So let's head back to ITSM for further steps. Okay, so we're here in ITSM, which is logged in. We're gonna go to a specific form. We're gonna go to SHR column union data source fields. So we're gonna go there. On this form, we're gonna create a new request. Uh, for implementation area, we're going to select Smart IT Ticket Console. We're just gonna type, type custom and union field data type, we're just gonna say six, and we're gonna save this record. After we save the changes, now we're gonna to go to the next form. So we're just gonna select Smart IT Ticket Console, Source, we're gonna select Help Desk, and the union field name, we're gonna select our custom column, which is type custom, and we're gonna save this record. So I'm just gonna save this. One more step to do, we're gonna open SHR Union Configuration Console. This is the union. So we're gonna create, uh, click on Smart Ticket Console. If you see here, if you scroll all the way down, you can see the type custom value field that we recently added. So we're just gonna click on uh, yes in the uh, bypass union value conversion. And we're gonna, we're gonna click on build, rebuild a database union structure. And once we click this, uh, we're gonna wait for the system to give us a confirmation of these actions. So this is the result that you're gonna get. Just click OK here. So go back to Dev Studio and open Union Smart IT underscore Ticket Console. And you're gonna copy the field that you created. So you're gonna select the field, you're gonna do Control C. You're gonna go to the second form and you're gonna do Control V. You can see that the field is copied and pasted here. It's very important that you uh, check that the view information uh, coincides with whatever exists on the ticket console uh, form, which was the union underscore configuration console. So we're gonna save the changes. Once it's saved, let's head back to union configuration underscore console. We're going to uncheck bypass union value conversion and we're gonna click on build rebuild again. Here we got the result, so we click okay. Now it's time to open Smart IT. Okay, so we just logged in. We're gonna go to um, screen configuration here. Let's wait until it loads. So we click on refresh metadata. Okay, so now let's check the ticket console. Console, ticket console. Now after I click refresh metadata, you can see that I have my custom selection field in the column. And now, you know, it will be just a matter of adding the field into the screen configuration so that you can start using it. So if we go to the screen configuration, 
you can see that I've added type custom here. Uh, remember that you have it, you need to add it in the in incident interface and the, and the create interface forms, as well as the SLM form. You need to update the filter and that's it. You will get the field here because this is a selection field. There's two values. You will be able to present both the options in the ticket console. That's it for today. Please uh, remember to subscribe to our channel, BMC Remedy and Discover. See you in the next one.